Konnichiwa, hope everyone's good. So I thought I'd go for a little six mile hike with the Austrian Assault Park, aka Austrian Alice Park. I think I've seen somebody else call it the Austrian Mountain Rescue Park as well. But uh, I'm three miles in and so far it's pretty comfortable. I actually like this pack a lot. So I have only added the chest strap. I am using the original straps that the pack comes with. But so far it is really comfortable. It's not digging in those or anything. The pack weighs, if I haven't already mentioned, about 20 pounds. I'm about three miles in, so Pretty comfortable so far. I'm not too impressed with the straps, but I am planning on attaching it to the LK35 frame at some point. But uh, it is pretty comfortable. So I'm about a mile away from where I want to be. Picked a spot that I've never been to before just to have a look around, do a little scout. But uh, this is the pack. So far, I like it a lot. It's got a massive pocket on the front and two huge pockets on each side. It's got some nice straps as well. It's got the tripod on this strap. And they're the original straps that I came with. It had another strap that came down here, which would attach to a pack that hangs off your shoulder, uh, chest, or in front of you, but I'll cut that off. Don't need it. So far, it's pretty comfortable. I've got it rigged up like that at the minute. Like I say, at some point I'm gonna mount this to an LK35 frame. But for now, I like it. I think it's about a 100 litre pack. Like I say, I've got about 20 pounds worth of stuff in there. And it's not even half full. So there's tons of space in that. Another missing dog. I don't know if that rewards if you find them dead or alive. Camus Beach Blythe, that's eight or nine miles away. Doubt that he'll be anywhere around here. Anyway, continue the hike, do a little scout, have some lunch. Almost there. Destination is Maybe trains running. And if there is, it's once every couple of hours. It's not a public train, it's a, like a commercial train. 
Tank of chips, cool. Almost there. And we're pretty much here. Find a way to get in. It's like somebody's sleeping mat. So somebody's been here before. Saw two deers come up this way. So to climb over. Doesn't look very stable. Climb under here. And we're in. So I'm gonna find somewhere to set up a little shelter, have some lunch. Looks like it's gonna rain. After I've had lunch, I'll have a little scout around, see how big this woodland actually is. It's pretty dense. Looks like I found somebody's attempt at a bushcraft camp. Looks like nobody's been here in a long time. Oh, I've just seen some grey squirrels. Look at the size of that bastard! Can you see him? It's bigger than a rabbit. God, there's hundreds of them here. It's like three just went up that tree. Another three just went up that tree. I'm sure I heard another two or three going up the other way. Oh, I'm coming back here, I'm going to find out who wants the land. See if I can get permission to hunt. That's some big ass squirrels. Anyway, reckon I'll set up shelter out here. Have something to eat. Yeah, about here looks like a good spot. So here's the new tripod. Got it from Amazon. I think it was £29 or something like that. So far I like it. It's the Victiv. Where are you? Victive T72 Seems to be pretty popular You can pull this out in its uh, monopod and It's got a carry handle as well Which is nice Weighs about £3 I think it says £3.9 on the packaging it comes with But uh, I like it
So I'm just having the usual Korean kimchi flavor ramen. It's real easy to do. See if I can get this out. It's done. Making it in the 10 centimeter, sorry, 12 centimeter zebra billy can. Wait for that to boil. Oh yeah, boy. Looking good. And it was scrum diddlyumptious. So one of the things I really like about this bag is it's got a big pocket in the back which is big enough for a folding sleeping pad and a half shelter. Obviously I've just got a little sitting pad there but you could fit a full sized Bundeswehr folding sleeping pad as well as the half shelter in there as well. You can see there, there's still a ton of other space. This is cinched up as much as it'll go. So you've got a lot of room to play with just in the back pocket. And the main pocket is just a massive pocket. At a random guess, the whole bag's probably about 100 uh, liters. And you've got this flap that comes out as well and extends the amount of stuff you can put in there a spider in there and anyway continue with the little scout have a walk over that way I'm gonna follow this animal trail, see if it leads anywhere. So about 10 minutes walk. We're at the other end of the woods. That's so a decent sized little 
patch of woodland should make a good spot to practice bushcraft in. Got some water here as well. Just come across another attempt at a shelter. Pissed down now, so it hasn't been too bad. Just wanted to come out, do a little scout of these woods, see if it's worth making it a bushcraft spot. So far, it is promising. It's very dense woodland, just a small patch. It takes about 10 minutes to walk from one end to the other, but doesn't look like anybody's been here in a very long time so I think I'll make this a new spot plenty of wildlife as well which is always good So anyway, I'll stop rambling on, get back home, thanks for watching, channel.